Oh, very much. Uh, like, uh, you know, when I was in the prison, uh, that was hard because they're, the prisoners themselves do a lot of segregating. Uh, and to tell you the truth, the worst thing is, in, in the prison today, is if you're a white male over 50, then you're presumed that you must be there for child molesting or something like that. And the chomos, they call them. And so, and, and then, of course, if you happen to be a priest, it's like you got stamped on your forehead or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, but, then you have to have papers that show that you're there for, what, am I doing something wrong with the mic? Or, no, oh, with a, with a, uh, you have to show papers. Unfortunately, Carl Fagan put an article in the, and also presented, but Carl Fagan had an article in the Quran and somebody sent it in to, a couple of people sent it in to inmates and they even put it up in the back of the chapel where it was an orderly that I was in there for School of the Americas, trespass, and nothing to do with, you know, which is really around the internet porn, basically, the stuff around the internet. But, uh, but I mean, you know, but there's so much segregating that goes on. And then, well, you, well, you can't sit at that table because you're this, and you can't sit at that table because you're that, and all that. And, and I say, well, I have to be able to sit anywhere. And one of the guys that's a real, what they call, the, the, the chomos are the bad ones on that side, and the other side are called haters. <laughs> they hate everybody. So, you know, but even one of the haters spoke up and he says, no, look, I, he's a Franciscan, he's not going to, he's going to sit with everybody. I mean, Jesus came for sinners, huh? And, uh, you know, I think that kind of, you know, that kind of unity. I, I really, it's amazing. I couldn't believe that after, you know, a couple months or so, three, four months there, that uh, I was as well received uh, by people. I mean, they were so open and they wanted to talk to me. And even afterwards, somebody wrote about to me about how I didn't realize how many people you know, miss me, and I wasn't there that long, and I thought, boy, if I was there, like all these people have got 10, 20, 30 years sentences, I don't want to be there that long, but if I was there, you know, maybe two or three years or something, how you could really touch people. People are in pain all over, and that's the thing. I mean, we just have to try to find where people's pain and woundedness is, and I think that's why we have churches and things like that, is a ways to, and I know a lot of young people out of schools are working on those things. So, a lot of this stuff, I, I've noticed some really good things coming out of, like the Croc Center at Notre Dame that Mrs. Croc started, the McDonald's money, uh, and she's very big against nuclear weapons, but uh, trying to promote, you know, reasons why we have to get rid of nuclear weapons, why we have to learn to get along, and so forth, and I think it's really important. You might be the only person I know who wants to go back to prison, so you <laughs> well, community. <laughs> What is not exactly the <laughs> term I would use, but is certainly willing to, yeah. yeah. So what are, what do you I miss the guys, I mean, they, you know, <laughs> there are some good people there, you know, it's a tragedy to think that they're sitting there with 15 or 20 year sentences for wow. something that seems very, uh, maybe some connection to drugs, or maybe they got the wrong thing on the internet on their teeth, or, or somebody framed them, or, because they, they're, they are, they do set people up. That's a shame. Um, so what are some of the, not everyone um, here probably is going to go get arrested now after sure. hearing your experience. No, no, they, well, they're not free to, and as free as I am to that matter. So, so what are some things that you think that um, people can do to follow in the footsteps of peacemaking, um, nonviolence, but still being active nonviolent uh, participants? Well, like, things like School of the Americas Watch and uh, the various organizations that are going on. There's so many things going on. To me, it's really important that people just get involved. And uh, there are so many uh, groups. There's you know, one that I have down on my notes, and now I can't remember what I was going to say for people to do. Um, but uh, anybody have any good? Uh, what's that? Berkeley says no to torture week. Yeah, Second Berkeley week of October. No Right, right. And Father, thank you. I, you're going to be participating. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm going to be participating in part of that. I mean, I get notices about things going on everywhere. There are a lot of people doing things and try to get people to do more. When we hear people just being negative, say, well, here's something you can do. And writing letters, you know, uh, the Congress people. Like, I'm just amazed. Was, if I was really living in Las Vegas now, I'd be working on people. I mean, Harry Reid is very, very, very vulnerable. And this is the time to get to him. You know, he's very powerful in Congress, but he's not going to be in there very long because he's the people are not in favor of him. But that's when the people should be getting him to have to say, "Okay, Harry, we'll vote for you, but this is what you got to deliver on." You know, get rid of the nukes or whatever, close down the test site, or stop, kick him out of Crete or something. Mm -hmm. um, 
just get involved. There's a lot of things to get involved in. Uh, Especially here in the Bay Area, I feel like someone as a transplant that I'm always overwhelmed by. Yeah. <laughs> There's always yeah. too many things to choose from. Yeah. So. And also local issues, like I, I said, they had this big meeting at our, at, our, at our church a couple days ago. Maybe people just don't find it in themselves to get all worked up about something that they find hard to understand, like Honduras or something, but they certainly understand about the next block, uh, or the, you know, the shooting that's gone on at night, or the funerals that go down during the day, and you know, what can we do today to come together and you know, talk to the police and speak on behalf of the kids. Exactly. We could probably have a, I mean, this would be the time now if we were in an all-day workshop to break down and, <laughs> you know, share. There's, I know so many people here. My gosh, I see my good friend George. Where did you go, George? Oh, there's George right there. We were roommates in, in, uh, in uh, Bethlehem. Palestine. <laughs> Palestine. Well, the occupied territories there. Uh, and uh, that's for her, which is a very sick place. And, He's been everywhere. He just got awarded for down in South Africa. Is it South Africa? Right. Yeah. Yes, he's recognized as one of the great heroes of South Africa, along with Nelson Mandela and others. And, uh, and you're still at, I won't say, but uh, I'm almost 80, and he's almost 10 years older than me. <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, he uh, is still going strong and still enthusiastic. And, and there's ever, so many people I know here are uh, ways and many, many, many ways to do it. Probably just kind of see, maybe pray over it or something, and just see if there's some light that shines in a particular place that you, you know to get involved. Uh, it could be locally. I, I think it's good to be kind of involved in something locally and something that's more beyond you too. That you, um, and that that's always a good good tip. Great, so I think our time is up here. Um, uh, right do I do a closing? Do a closing? A closing of, of your... Well, I, you know, I, I, I did want to say something. Uh, um, that, uh, uh, as I said, I talk, kind of talked earlier today about this uh, energy, or that, that all creation is a sense of energy that unites the universe and controls the universe. And Einstein is the one who kind of gave us the weight of the atomic bomb with E equals MC squared and pointing out that there's a way that this energy, the speed of light times mass, is uh, an energy that can destroy the whole world, and it really can. We have it to, together right now to destroy all of God's creation that we know of. Not what's out there in the universe, but it still can do a tremendous amount. But Einstein always said that for all the physical energy, there is even greater spiritual energy. And so I like to think of that uh, that equals MC squared uh, using instead of the speed of the constant being the speed of light being compassionate love. That if we all focus on really compassionate love, that's seeing who's suffering and trying to put ourselves there as we would the dearest person in our own family, that if we really have that kind of commitment and involvement, that can really change the world. And he said that, Einstein, and he was a pretty hard guy. He first voted for the atomic bomb, and then he thought that that was not a sign of compassionate love and tried to get the president to stop it, etc. So I think we, um, we can work towards that. Whatever we do, if it's really done out of that kind of love, it is a force for the transformation into this, whatever that new creation is. It is out there, and it is going to happen someday. But it would be sure nice if we could help to make it happen a little quicker. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Louis. Thank you. Thank you all. That's it. That's a wonderful reception. I want to thank Gerard and all those community. I hope you worked so hard to put this together. It's a wonderful meal. I'm really overwhelmed by this, actually, to tell you the truth. I thought it was just coming to, well, chat with a few people, but this is a wonderful reception. <laughs> and, it's certainly worth going to prison again, so. <laughs> thank, thank all of you, too, for, for coming and contributing to some of the things, work we do. And uh, we'll be using the, whatever money we made here for peace projects, for 